Uh, hi guys, I uh, just want to uh, show you a few modifications I've done to my uh, JJRC model. Um, as you can see I've been flying quadcopters for quite a while. I started off over here with the uh, 450 size and then I gradually went smaller. I went down to a 250 size and then down to a 180. But what I find with those, those bigger ones, they're very heavy and it's a bit like flying a brick. And then uh, this uh, JJ bought out, JJRC bought out this little fella here, which I found to be really good. And to be honest, I get as much fun out of that as uh, the bigger ones over there. But as with a lot of these quadcopters, it's very easy to fly out of range. They have a very limited range. So I um, actually fitted a, an FPV camera on the front by putting a bit of Velcro on the nose of the thing and then I stuck this little uh, little camera on here it's um, it's called an FX uh, 798T uh, which is very good and it actually has a lot more range with the cloverleaf aerial than the actual quadcopter so I found this was flying away a few times and uh, it took me a while to find it in the long grass so I, what I did is what most people do, and that is they um, take the aerial uh, from inside because it's all surrounded by the circuit board and doesn't get very good uh, uh, signal. And I drilled a hole in the top of the canopy and put the aerial out. You can see it there. Um, now that made a lot of difference, but then I found I could go even further with uh, flying with the goggles. So... Um, I ran out of range again, uh, which wasn't very good. So I thought, how else can I improve it? So what I did was I had a look inside the transmitter to see if I could improve the aerial inside. And as you know, these aerials that come with it uh, don't actually do anything. So I had a look at the, um, the, the transmitter printed circuit board and I discovered it's got a, an antenna that's actually printed on the on the PC board and it looks like this inside there and it's gold and it didn't even have any wire at all coming off to transmit the 2.4 but right over here there's an empty hole and it had antenna 1 on it and that was antenna 2 so I thought I wonder what would happen if I soldered a piece of wire in there exactly 35 millimeters long to match up with the one that's on the uh, quadcopter itself. So I got a piece of wire and I soldered it in, right in there like that and I just left it poking up. And now the range is amazing. I can pretty much go as far, uh, far as I like and I haven't had it drop out of the sky ever since. Uh, while I had the thing to bits you might notice that I, um, I spray painted the gimbals uh, the, uh, the the balls are uh, the um, the stick units to make it look a bit more like a model transmitter rather than a, a toy transmitter like it used to be over here it was all blue plastic which I didn't like much now the other thing I've done as well is because I can fly now with FPV as far as I want with the uh, quadcopter I decided to uh, modify the battery uh, bay because the battery was quite tiny actually it was this one here that came with it and I was running the camera and the uh, quadcopter I was only getting about six or seven minutes and I wanted to fly a bit longer than that so what I did was I cut the battery bay off and I put a piece of flat balsa wood in here and a piece of velcro underneath the balsa wood and now I can strap on these uh, much bigger 600 milliamp batteries and sometimes I've even got these 7.4 ones and cut them in half so then you end up with two cells and they fly for at least 10 minutes with uh, running the FPV as well and the other thing that I wanted to do is that these ones don't come with a camera for recording while you're flying so what I did was I got a little piece of balsa wood and I cut a piece of balsa wood and I put velcro straps on it and I just strapped that around the undercarriage with the velcro and then I stick this keychain camera on 
Now this is one of the more expensive keychain cameras that I've taken the case off and I just sit it on here with Velcro and I get no jello at all because the Velcro isolates any vibration from the uh, from the actual quadcopter because it's down on the skids and what's more I don't get any um, blades in the uh, in the video so that's a good little option if you ever want to do video from the air from the actual quadcopter well that's about all I've got to tell you today so I hope those things happen but the most amazing uh, modification I did was actually uh, soldering this piece of wire onto the circuit board and now I've actually got two transmitter antennas that are that are sending out a signal to the to the uh, wire that I soldered on the printed circuit board in there and the camera is just simply uh, wired on I put a plug under here so you can see the plug I just soldered that onto the the other end of the battery plug okay that's all for now and I hope you have uh, some fun doing those modifications